Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today is going to be the second entry in the lore video series. Uh, like I said, I'm com kind of compiling all the lore into one series, and then at the end of each event, uh, if there is kind of like a story to follow, I'll go over the story. So without further ado, here's the second entry. 1895, Summer. Tale of Submission, Verse 1. May I doubt the strangeness of the clouds no more. Many forget, but those of us who remain grounded know that there is something darker lurking behind them. There is a sickness in this rain. It clings too long to leaves and bark. The sound of it dripping on the soil is wrong. Each drop leaves the impression of an insect's footfall in my mind. And the mist here tastes rotten, and I'm repulsed anew with each breath. The strange folk about are not bothered by the wetness. They dart out of bushes in the rain, holding iron, boards, rack. They're building a sculpture from this driftwood in the gnarled parts of a boat wreck. They carry each piece as a sacred object, a rare treasure. They are too caught up in their work to notice me. I slunk to the altar they constructed and discarded the secrets of my honor to its tainted form. In return, I have gained a shadow, an extra shade over my own. The corrupted cannot see me now, not the hives with their screeching and swarms blown like leaves, not the armoreds strung with wild barbed wire. If I'm quiet, I slip between them. I'm a shadow thin enough to cut light. With the Bayou's blessing, I can hunt the miscreation known as Rotjaw. But I have lost something. When I close my eyes, I see veins of silver. They are my own veins, but... It is not my blood inside them. It is blood from a different land. I feel it. Something else seeing through my eyes instead of me. Something beckoning me to kneel on the banks, to kiss the tracks of the beast with its jaws open to the clouds. The beast that drinks this rain and wishes upon us the foulest season of rot and bloom.